Yo guys what's up it's Crips and today I have for you all the Stormcaller Warlock set. Now this set is based around the Stormcaller subclass and I'm going to show you this set with the transversive steps as well as the geomags and also some other exotics. Now if you do end up liking this build then I definitely recommend checking out my Phoenix Fire Warlock set based around the Dawnblade subclass as a lot of you really did like it so I recommend checking it out if you haven't already. But yeah if you do like this build then please drop a like on the video and consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on any future fashion content and without further ado let's just get straight into the set. Now I will say this set is more new player friendly compared to my other sets. Although the arms, bond and robes are not currently obtainable uh, these robes here are actually coming back next season into the archive and I also have some great alternatives for the arms and bond as well. But yeah I'm going to leave a timestamp on screen if you want to skip ahead to the alternative shaders and armor as I'm firstly going to go over the set here and what I'm using. So the helmet here I have the celestial hood ornament which is from the solstice eververse right now. You can purchase the entire set for 6000 bright dust or 1500 silver. Now I also have a video on the channel showing the entire set with different armor and shaders so this is very helpful if you are unsure on purchasing it. And the great thing about this helmet is that the glow color changes depending on what subclass you have equipped which means they compare with a lot of different shaders and it's also fully shadable so it's a very nicely designed helmet and can work with a whole bunch of different sets. Now if you don't want to spend any bright dust or silver you could go for the magnificent version to get the white glow. Uh, this isn't too bad and honestly if you could get a white glow throughout the entire set maybe using uh, monochromatic then this could look really awesome as well. But yeah the shade I used on the entire set here is Jack Arena. Now this is a shader that drops from Eververse Engrams and can sometimes be sold in the Brightest store. Just a really nice shader which shaders black and white and can also shader a bit of blue on some pieces. Then moving on to the arms, these are the Solstice 2019 arms. Um, honestly you don't have to use these, I just really like the design of them. The only bad part in this set about it is that there's a gold outline here. Uh, which somewhat matches with parts of the robes down the bottom but you could definitely use something else to replace this now it still matches the glow color of the set um, i just chose this though to match with like the sort of feather design uh, that's on the robes and the bond here if you notice the celestial robes have these like little tip bits at the end which give off the look of feathers so that also helps match with the set but don't worry if you're new as i will show some amazing alternatives later on then the chest plate here so we have the Celestial Robes. Now this set will be returning next season into the Eververse Archive. I know a lot of new players are going to really love this. They shade extremely well and like I mentioned with the arms they have this whole feather design at the end. You could shade the glow as well as you could see. Then as for the boots we have the Transversive Steps Exotic. Now because of the blue design I wanted for the entire set I decided not to use the ornament. Uh, if you didn't know there is an orange ornament in the archive right now although you have to be careful there's a bit of green in this and then obviously there's the path to convergence now you could also use this with the normal magnificent like i showed you earlier with the white glow on the helmet uh, you could try and pair that with these boots here uh, but personally i just wanted to try and use the normal transversive as i know a lot more players do not have the ornaments and any the bond here is the contender bond just to get that bird designed to match with the other pieces of the set and this is from the Guardian Games event. Unfortunately it just passed so you will have to wait quite a long time. But don't worry I will show some other great alternatives. And then again I'm using Jack Arena on the entire set. So yeah that's pretty much the entire set there and what pieces I'm using. Um, another shade I also wanted to pair with this set was Night's nice Chill. So if you do have this this is great for a darker look to still maintain that sort of blue colour. But yeah just let me know what you think of my set here. And now I'm going to go over some great alternatives you can use on this set. Now I'm going to firstly start off with armor. So I do want to show some exotics that could also work. So here we have the Geomag Stabilizers with the Electromag Ornaments. Again we have Jack Arena so the blue glow color matches. Um, it looks fairly good in this. Unfortunately the red is not shaderable. So that's something you always have to deal with. But I definitely think they could work in this set. As the feathers do quite well disguise the top end which is normally like the worst part of these boots so you really only get to see the glow which is pretty much what looks best on it. Now here is the normal look as well for any of you wondering. Now you might want to go with something like shrouded stripes on these boots or like another dark shader as as you can see here uh, Jack Arena doesn't really give a good colour on the thigh. So yeah these won't look too bad on this set here. And another exotic I quite like on the set is the clothes of Amkara. The reason being is this feather design really helps match with the bond and also the robes here. Now because of how dark it shaded with Jack Arena, 
uh, you could switch it up for the bitter pill shader so yeah you can try all different exotics with this uh, but these are what i found to be the best looking exotics on this set now going back to the transversive steps, um, as this is pretty much the main exotic that is being used on this set here. Now like I mentioned earlier, you're not going to really find any success with these other two unless you're going to use like the white glow here. So as you could see here is the white glow for completing all the Celestine pieces. Now you can sort of see what I mean by matching the white glow with the boots here. Uh, you could change up for a bit of red as well to match the white glow. Although you have to be a bit careful as some shaders do change the tint of the glow here. I think Omnicronia shows it best though as you can see it turning more gold. So yeah that's pretty much a great alternative uh, for any of you which don't want to use the normal default look. Although I think the default pattern in design does match really well with how the glow goes up the robes here. So I think these are still just a great piece to use. So now I'm going to go over the more difficult pieces to use in this set. Starting off with the gauntlets. So a great alternative for these would be the celestial. If you do decide to purchase these robes next season. Um, a bit of a plain look. But if you do want some glow then I recommend the Celestine gloves. If you do decide to purchase the set here with the helmet. The whole Celestine set is going to be a great alternative for any of you which are new. There's a very really nice design overall and quite well matches with the rest of the set here. Now another great pair of arms is the Moonfang. Uh, you can get these right now from the Prophecy Dungeon. And this dungeon is free to all players and is located on the tower. Now something really nice about these gloves um, is that the fact that as you could see here on the robes. Um, it is asymmetrical adding more plating with a bit of black on the top here. Now these Moonfang gloves do shader differently depending on the secondary colour of the shader. Now the great thing about the set being asymmetrical is that the white glove here can match with the top right plate in and the black glove can match with this black shoulder plate in here. So it creates a nice contrast, um, it looks really awesome as well. So it's a very good alternative for any of you which are new. Now next I'm going to go over the robes. As this is a piece I know a lot of people will not have um, if they've just joined the game. So again I'll show you the Celestine if you are new. Uh, but this is what you'll get with the helmets and the gloves like i just shown you all. But if you don't want any glow at all then I recommend the Philomath. Um, a nice quite detailed uh, robes here which match quite well with the detail of the helmets and also the arms. Uh, you could go with like a full plain look if you don't want any glow at all. Although to best match a transversive I do recommend using a little bit of glow on the set. Then moving on to the bond here, here is the Celestine. Um, it looks really nice, probably one of the nicest bonds we've received on the Warlock. Really nice display of the logo as well. And also the fragment of the Prime from the Vault of Glass raid. Now this is also free to all players. Has a nice glow. This can especially match well with the Path to Convergence ornament for the transversive steps. Now if you don't want any glow at all, I would recommend the Dreambane to match with that feather look. Unfortunately though, um, only the strap shaders so the feathers will always remain black. And you can get this from the Shadowkeep campaign. Then finally moving into some helmet alternatives. So if you don't want this you could change it for the Celestial. Which doesn't look too bad with a bit of less glow. But a great one that's obtainable right now would be the Helm of the Great Hunt. Very clean look and to be honest with you if you don't use anything that's too blaring in glow. Then you won't really see a difference in using this helmet. You could even use the Moonfang as well. Although it has a green visor the rest of the set will still match. Now if you do try to use anything darker you will have to note that there is an unshadable white here. That's why in this set here it is perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and show these shaders with the Celestine robes. As I feel more people would have this set here than anything. So here is Seven Sisters. Now this is something you got to be careful about is the fact that this bond here goes green so you might just have to change up the bond again. If you do have Jacarina then you can use it. Creates a really cool galaxy effect um, on the helmet here as well. But if you are new to the game then I'd recommend getting the Satu Tribe Shader. This drops from Dismounting Forge gear which is in World Drops. A nice blue overall with a really cool like patterning design on the cloth piece here. And finally for any of you which are new, in the archive there is a shader bundle for 1000 Glimmer. Now some of the best shaders I would use from this bundle would be Metro Shift. Um, although a shader is the Bond Purple, the rest of the set remains a silver and blue which matches quite nicely with the glow here. So you could change up the glow for Celestine as well and create a really awesome set like this. And finally I would recommend Monochromatic as well for a nice black and white look in general. Um, on these robes they won't look as good but this is why I mentioned earlier about using the uh, Magnificent Glow. Uh, this would definitely work a lot better as you will have the white glow to match with the black and white of the base colours. 
And then finally I'm going to go over the rest of the pieces in this set. So the weapon I wanted to holster was the Izanagi's Burden. It has a nice black, white and blue design. I just thought it matched perfectly with the set and that's pretty much the only reason why I used it. The shell here is the Plasma Shell. Um, I got this from the Eververse. Uh, it just has a really nice arc pulsating look in game. And that's why I really like it. Now you could also use the arc shell. That could also look really cool on this set. Then the vehicle is the Blacklight Razor. A sparrow you all used to ask me so much about. And you can actually get this right now from the Solstice Eververse. So go and get it before you miss out on it. It's easily one of the coolest sparrows they've added into the game. And then finally the Radiant Occipiter. Easily one of my most used ships in the game. I look so clean with Jack Arena, nice black and white. And also the feather decals matching with the feather design of the robes. So I think it all just blends so nicely together. So yeah, that is pretty much my entire set. Um, I do hope these alternatives helped you all out. As I know quite recently, there's been quite a few new players uh, coming to my channel and asking for some more help. So I think this really can help you all. And if it did, then please drop a like and consider subscribing to the channel as I upload quite frequently and I will be getting a lot more of these builds out throughout the rest of the solstice. But yeah, if you haven't already, go and check out my previous video, which was for the Titan with my Void Knight Titan set. I think you all really would like that. It was a bit longer than usual though, as I did show a lot of alternatives in that video. And yeah, I just want to say thank you all so much for the amazing support recently with all the likes. Uh, just absolutely amazing on all these videos so I just want to thank you all so much for that and yeah if you don't know we have a discord channel with over 4,000 members uh, you could share your fashion and also get some great advice a great place for you newer players as well and yeah I just want to say thank you all so much for watching the video stay safe and I'll see you all next time